front of big groups any day of the year. Um, I have a lot of things at stake here. I have a husband that teaches at John Central. I have a child that goes to school over there. Um, I am at Northwood. I have another child coming. Um, I get really emotional about this. I see, but I'm just calmer than Meg is when she talks. Um, I see the needs everywhere. I really do. I've been to JM. I visit when I go to Norma's and, and we have meetings. I go to Chatham Central when we have meetings over there. I've been there. I think there's only one school I haven't been in, literally, on, on any side of the county. Um, but I do think it is important that, yes, we do have to look at the needs. But what Ms. Russell just said was we do need to create an atmosphere at Northwood to fit the number of kids we actually have now. And that is why you did what you did at JM. It's because of the overcrowding. You didn't have rooms to put these people. And even with our pods, we still don't have rooms to put people. It is very crowded. And, and I think that is the reason that what happened at JM happened at JM, which I think is great. I don't like it to be a, a east-west thing. My God, my family is on the western side. I go to church on the western side. So I see from those people at church, I see from the people here, I kind of like the woman without a county because I, I work in both arenas. But I think it's important that you understand that I don't think the premise of the six million was to say, oh, only Northwood gets it. I think what Ms. Russell was saying was that the, init the initial response was, let's meet the needs that we actually have for that school. The same reason we said let's meet the needs at JM because I know Ms. Boone was overcrowded and I know that that's why that happened. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me too when I got kids working out in a lobby. I got them working out in the hallways. And if, if people were there and I feel like, you know, I have to say something because none of my teachers are here to say anything and I live there every day. You know, and I know that there are schools in this county that have science labs used for offices. Breaks my heart. Because I have at least two science teachers that don't even have lab classrooms that they deserve to have. So there are a lot of things that I know you guys are hearing the arts, the arts, but what you don't realize is that if we had that wing, what I could do with the existing art room we have now and change that into a lab, what I could do with the existing dance room now and put that a fitness class and PE into that classroom and actually have the space and not have to build a whole other gym. Which, that's what initially a lot of people said, oh, just build a gym. Well, if you think about it and you work it the other way, we'd actually have a lot more space to do those things and I wouldn't have 120 kids in the gym at one time, especially when it rains. Not fun. Um, and so I, I just want it to be clear that I have stated that because I do live there every day. My teachers live there every day. And everybody, yes, all of us have needs. But I think the major thing was here was to build or have an area to actually fit the number of children we actually have, not expand for more children. It's to help the ones we already have. <coughs> and part of that discussion also that um, I had with Mr. Joyce at one time was to even fix the media center so it's a little bit larger for the capacity that we have for kids. To even kind of change our cafeteria around to fit the number of kids that we have. But it wasn't to build a whole new cafeteria. It's small things in order to, to get the kids that we have actually in there safely. So I, I just feel like, and I'm sorry if I made this go longer, but I felt like I would not do my job if I didn't. Thanks. Thank you.